Hello, welcome to the fifth uh, video on ecotourism. I am Omar Mohammed from the Department of Biological Sciences, Boucher State University, Gado. In today's video, we are going to talk about a unique group of animals called ungulates, which uh, play a vital role uh, in the food chain and the food web in um, all the the wildlife or the national parks we've mentioned, both in Africa and in Nigeria, in the sense that um, every uh, the the big five we've mentioned, which includes uh, the lion and the leopard, which are carnivores in nature. They depend heavily on the ungulates as their source of nutrition, while the rhinoceros and um, the Censurus kaffa or the Censurus nanus all belong to this particular group. The only animal in the big five that does not belong to this group uh, is the elephant, despite the fact that it also has uh, the two. So now the question is, um, what are ungulates? Ungulates are also known as hoof mammals. These are ha mammals that have hoof uh, on their toes, and they are divided into um, two categories. Now, before we're talking about the division, um, a quick uh, definition of mammals. Mammals are organisms that feed their young ones with milk from the mammary gland. And um, now, these ungulates are divided into two categories: the even-toed and the odd-toed mammals. The even-toed, sorry, ungulates. The even-toed ungulates belong to the order. Archaeodactyla, while the octoid ungulate belongs to the order Perissodactyla. So now these two important orders are, are basically subdivided into several families uh, as presented below. Now this particular uh, flow chart shows uh, how ungulates are divided into uh, two orders and the orders are divided into various families. Now let's look at them closer. Now. This is ungulates divided into two, um, Archaeodactyla and um, Perissodactyla. Now, Archaeodactyla, which is the even-toed ungulate, is uh, made up of several families. And one of those families, these are basically um, the four families that are um, basically common in Africa. And um, the first one is um, the Hippopotamidae, which uh, include the Hippopotamus uh, with the scientific name hippopotamus amphibious and um, this one which is um, the soidae, the family soidae and the family of the pigs and um, the warthog belongs to this particular phylum which is the Phococeros atheopicus and there's another family called the camelidae uh, which uh, belongs to the camels. The Arabian camel is a typical example the camelus dromedaris dromedaris and of course, um, we have um, the bovidae, which belongs to uh, one of um, the most common group of ungulates in Africa, which include the cattle, the the goats, the sheep, the ibex, and um, the typical, the common goat, which is the capris, cap, capra, hicus. So now, to the next um, order, which is Perissodactyla, it is divided into two um, families. Uh, which include the equidae, which is the family for um, donkey, the wild ass, the horse, equus ferus, and equus caballus. And um, the other family is the family for the rhinocerotidae, which uh, the rhinoceros belong to the Diceros biconis. Now, this Diceros biconis is the black rhino. Other examples include uh, the white rhino, which is uh, almost going into extinction. So taxonomy is um, very, very important when talking about uh, wildlife conservation, typically, most especially when talking about ecotourism, because um, it gives you an insight in how where they belong to uh, in the, the, the phylum uh, core data. So um, that's all for today's video. Cheers. See you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and watch the other videos.